Hey, this is Patrick with iPad Insight. This morning I've got a demo for you of a cool new iPad app called Ticker for Twitter. I found out about this app a couple weeks back before it was released. A developer emailed me this morning to let me know it's available and I've had it running most of the morning on my iPad. It's called a passive Twitter client and that means that it's not a full-fledged Twitter client. For instance, you can't create a new tweet from it or uh, reply directly within this app to uh, to a tweet although you can jump off and reply which we'll see in just a moment so what it does as you can see on the screen is it continuously streams your Twitter timeline which I think is uh, quite nice it's a really nice way of being more aware of what's happening on Twitter without having to switch to a full-fledged Twitter app so it's a pretty simple app what we can do with it, we'll check out the settings, which as you can see are pretty minimal. The tweet source by default is your Twitter timeline for whichever account is your twi default Twitter app. Um, if you want, you can filter it by Twitter lists, if you've got Twitter lists. The tweet count limit is, uh, I've got it set to the maximum of 200, you can take that as low as 20. The change delay sets how long each tweet will appear on the screen. The default is 10 seconds. You can lower that down to 5 seconds or up all the way to 60 seconds. I'm quite happy with the default. You can also choose whether to show the clock and date. By default, they're on. I'm happy enough with that. Okay, and the other thing you can do with it where this gets kind of clever is you can tap anywhere on the screen to bring up this bottom bar. And from there, you can favorite a tweet, you can retweet, and we can hit this reply button, and it'll jump straight to my default Twitter app, which is TweetBot. And it should have jumped straight to the reply window. Let's try that one more time. There you go. That's how it, I'm not sure why I didn't get it right the previous time, but every other time that I've used it, it's done this correctly. It just jumps straight to the reply field for that specific tweet, and away you go. I'm going to cancel, and it's going to take me straight back to Tigger for Twitter. So, again, I, I think this is quite a nice way of uh, keeping up with your Twitter stream. Uh, for me, anyway, it's, it's helping me to see a few tweets that I probably would not have noticed this morning if I was relying on physically moving over to look at the TweetBot app on iPad or MacBook. I can see on the other hand how for some this might be too much of a distraction. I'm going to take a couple days and see what I think of that when, I, when I've used it some more. For this morning I've had it pretty much continuously running on my iPad just next to my laptop. The app again is called Ticker for Twitter. It's available in the iPad App Store now. It's priced at $1.99. I think it's well worth it. And that's about all for today. Hope you all having a good Thursday.